Hey, thank you for checking out the video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Barut V10 EDC flashlight. One of those interesting kind of rectangular body style and form factor flashlights. So we're taking a look at this today. Here's just a little look at the box. And while we're doing this, I want to thank Barut for sending this to the channel for review. Um, this, this was a sample they sent out for review and they did provide a link. It's not an affiliate link, but it's a direct link to their Amazon listing. If you like what you see and want to pick one of these up, but yeah, without further ado, let's check out the light itself. Yeah, very interesting uh, fob sized, like, like a larger fob um, size light here. And um, yeah, the only other light I have that's kind of a similar form factor, it's a bit smaller, it's an Angel Eyes E8 flashlight from Robivon. Here's a quick side comparison between those two lights. Um, the Robivon's a bit smaller, However, um, what might interest you about this light, it is, a, it is significantly uh, more affordable. Um, it's about half the cost of the Robivon, if not more. So if you like that light and you know don't wanna break the bank, uh, and you like what you see here, this might be a good alternative. And yeah, as I understand it, I'm not too familiar with this company. I, I just know that uh, from a little bit of research on this light, the V10, this is a newer model of the V3, I believe it was with their first iteration of this style of light. And I believe this casing is glow in the dark. We'll have to test that later in the video. It's like it also comes with a key ring as well so that you can, you know, use this kind of like a key fob if you want to run it on some keys. And then there's a USB A to USB C cable included as well. And here's that manual. I will hold this open if you care to read it. Um, you can pause it um, if you like. This side's probably more interesting to my audience in English, perhaps. But yeah, we'll take a look at all that. I'll learn how to work this as it charges. And this is USB-C rechargeable, as you probably guessed from the cable. Looks like the port's back here under this flap. So yeah, let me get this charged up. The V8 is charging, and I just wanted to point out that it does have an indicator light here as well. I imagine that turns green when the light's fully charged. Did also notice this claim here, 1000 lumens. That is, that is quite a lot of output for this size of flashlight. So either this thing's gonna be very hot and produce that output or, or not quite get up there. We'll have to see. But uh, yeah, lots of different LEDs here on the face. We'll have to see what those are and what they do. And then yeah, three up here up front as well. Two main ones and then I think that's the UV uh, LED right there. So we'll check all that out in just a second. All right, the V10 is charging and I wanted to show you that it can be used, um, you know, the light can be used while charging simultaneously. So that's pretty nice if you needed to extend the life of the battery a little while, like in the event of a power outage or something, or you're on the road, power bank, you can do that. Um, so yeah, that's cool to see. And then you could also use the main LEDs as well if you prefer um, to use these ones as well. Same deal, you can charge as you go. I figured I'd go over the UI really quickly here. There's, it's not too, there's a lot on this light, but the UI is not too complicated, thankfully. Um, the way, the best way I've come to think about it is that this main switch on the right, the power switch, operates these main two LEDs. So by holding it down, you can jump right into the 1000, the claimed 1000 lumen turbo setting and then release. It's almost kind of like a momentary turbo switch right there. So that's the first thing. To get into the regular cycle of modes, you'll double click this switch. And I found that it's a little bit um, sensitive as to the speed at which you double click. So if you do it really, really quickly, it won't turn on. And if you click, click, it won't turn on it. So you have to kind of find the middle ground to get the, the right frequency of clicks that you want. But once you get that, you're into the main um, modes of the light. And then from here, you can cycle through the various output levels. Um, so yeah, low here, I think they call this economy mode to medium high turbo back down. So that's it for this switch right here. And then this lightning switch kind of gets you access to this light bar here, as well as the UV LED up here on the front. So uh, same deal to basically, if you want something extreme, similar to the you know max turbo output by holding this down, holding this down will get this red and blue LED um, strobe effect, and then it also has a siren built into the light. 
there's the speaker right there. So I will do that now. Um, so it's gonna be slightly annoying, but I'll only do it for a second. So there, you can hear that. Um, it's, it's not terribly loud. It's kind of, uh, you know, it's attention grabbing. Um, so yeah, a little personal alarm built in just by holding this switch down. And then if you wanna get into the rotation of regular modes, um, same deal as the right switch, you will double click. And then that brings you to the light bar. So we're looking at like a warm, warmer, you know, floody LED right here. Clicking again will bring you through. You've got green, red, blue, You've got red flashing, red and blue flashing. And as you can see, it's kind of got different, um, different timing set up with that. It almost looks purple, but it's the red and blue at the same time. Almost like police lighting. I don't know what that would be used for. If you do know, <laughs> let me know in the comments below. And then a cool white LED as well for flood. So if you prefer, you know, a nice cold or, uh, you know, cooler white, you've got that here with the flood as well as the warmer. So we'll have that option. And then, yeah, just a long press and release will turn the light off from, you know, if you're using the light bar on this menu with this switch and then on the power switch, either way, it'll turn you off. So that is the UI. And if, and if uh, me explaining that wasn't ideal, here's the little official chart. You're welcome to pause and check that out to go over the UI, but let's get to those beam shots outside. All right, time for the beam shots. And we're going to start with the main lights up front. This is the 15 lumen setting. And I just wanted to mention that it is not perfectly dark out. It is kind of dusk. Um, I think you can get a better idea for the range this way. Um, you have to let me know if you prefer this or um, pitch darkness. Just trying it out for this video. But yeah, 15 lumens right here can run for 33 hours. Not bad at all. I'm sorry, this is the economy mode, not the low mode. This is the low mode. And this is 130 lumens can run for 13 and a half hours at this output. Very nice. Next up is medium. This is 240 lumens. You can run for six and a half hours. These run times are kind of impressing me, but the battery is big. It takes up the whole space here on the back. So uh, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt on that. I haven't tested it. Um, and then yeah, next up is the high output. That is, can run for three and a half hours. This is 450 lumens. Very impressive. And then um, turning it off and holding down, that brings you into the 1000 lumen um, turbo setting. And because I've been using this light a, a little bit, the metal up top here, the, the bezel is getting warm to the touch. So I just wanted to point that out, but that's to be expected with high output. And then yeah, the, uh, the side switch here, turn this on. This is the cool white kind of area light try to give you a sense for what that does on the grass in front of me here. So I'm going to turn it away and angle it over. So this is more of a floody flood oriented beam. Cycle through. This is the warmer color temperature light tint. So this would be good for a room. Uh, if you just need night area light, um, it also has red, green, blue, the red and blue flashing. And then um, the, the UV as well. Here's that glow effect really standing out. See some fireflies in the yard. It's pretty cool. We've got a high school football game in the background too. It's a good time of year. To access the UV LED up front here, um, you can have this light on in a different menu to access it or from off. Uh, triple click of this lightning bolt switch will bring you into that UV light. So there we, there it is. And yeah, so if you need to verify bills or just check things out under UV light, you've got that. To turn it off, same as normal, you just kind of press and release. And um, once again, from off or from a menu, that triple click will bring you into the UV. As always, I'm just a guy who pushed record on a phone to make the video, but um, if you do want my thoughts on this light, I will give them to you. First, we'll start with the pros. Um, I really like the price that this comes in at. So this comes in at $23.99, which is less than half, almost, almost a third of the cost of 
similar lights in this form factor. This is the Rovivon Angel Eyes E8 keychain flashlight. I really do like this light. I have a video on this if you're interested, but this comes in at the time of recording. It's on Amazon right now for $59.99, whereas this is on Amazon for $23.99. So significant you know, difference in price. So if you're balling on a budget and want to pick up a FOB style light with um, a lot of different LED options and UV, this is a good place to start looking in my opinion. Um, another thing I like about it is the USB-C connection. Obviously that's a winning connection type. I'm glad it's not micro USB-C. I'm sorry, micro USB. I'm glad it's USB-C, um, especially if you have a phone that can take this type of cable. The UI I also enjoy. Um, it was easy for me to figure out. I, Whenever I get these type of lights with a bunch of different LEDs and stuff like that, I get a little intimidated, but this made it kind of easy to think about it like the right switch with the power symbol operates the two main lights up front. Whereas um, this one operates, you know, the smaller LEDs and the UV. I did uh, appreciate the UI on this. I think it's pretty straightforward. And then just holding this down gets you to turbo, holding this down gets you to the, the siren and um, red and green blinkies. So um, I like that, it was pretty straightforward enough. Um, cons, oh my gosh, I totally forgot to mention this, uh, bad, this um, sorry, magnet real quick. So this does have a magnet on it. So if that's important to you, um, it does have a really strong magnet able to hold it you know um, horizontally like this vertically no problem so if that's important to you i, I didn't want to leave that out it does have a magnet here so um back to the light so yeah that we don't have the pros in my mind um the cons i you you already know if you've watched my channel a little bit that i don't care for built-in batteries if i can avoid them i will just because over time their capacity does get worn down however this is a nice big battery and I mean, I can't be too picky because the phone I'm filming and editing this video on has a built-in battery as well as a bunch of other electronics I use. So, I mean, I don't want to be picking choosy overly, but uh, if I can avoid built-in batteries, I will. So I just wanted to point that out. This does have a built-in battery, but for what it is at the price point it is, and if you're looking for something convenient that you can just top off with, say a cable that you use on your phone or just throughout life, um, this might be a good way to go. So yeah, it does have some, some cool features and the UI is nice. And um, yeah, if you're looking for a FOB style light that doesn't break the bank, um, this would be a good place to start looking. And if you do decide to get this, um, the link Barut provided will be in the description for you if you just want to buy it direct um, from their Amazon store. But in any case, um, thank you for checking out the video. Um, I always appreciate you watching. And if you have any questions about this, I'll try to get an answer. Just leave them in the comments for me. Let me know your thoughts on this um, and I will see you in the next video. Take care and God bless. Bye.